Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 17.3. The software is right around the corner. It should be released to the general public in the next week or two. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk about some of the latest new features and changes you can expect with this upcoming update. Apple has basically added two major new features and changes to this one. There's some minor tweaks around the software, but I want to focus on the two main features with iOS 17.3. Now, the first one has to do with Apple Music. If you love Apple Music with iOS 17.3, Apple Music just got a little bit better. And that's because Apple has added the collaborative playlist feature back to the iPhone. Now, it was previously in beta with iOS 17.2, but it never made its debut. But with iOS 17.3, you'll be able to have collaborative playlists, which means you can create a playlist on your iPhone. And with Apple Music, you can share that playlist with others around you. And let me show you how easy it is to use collaborative playlists. So you have your Apple Music options here. You go into playlist and then you want to go ahead and make sure you go ahead and create one. So let's click onto playlist here and click add. Once you create a playlist, of course, I'm going to select one that I've already pre-created here. You see that I have my entire playlist here for rock and roll. I have this button on the top portion of the screen here on my iPhone. I can tap and I can start a collaborative playlist. So you have this toggle here, which basically means you need to approve the person before they can enter the collaboration. So if you don't turn this on, anyone with the link of this collaborative playlist will be able to join and participate. They can add songs to the queue, remove songs from the queue, etc. So I'm going to leave it off just for the purpose of the video. So let's start the collaborative playlist here for rock and roll. And once you start the collaborative playlist, the iPhone will automatically suggest options here with the share sheets in order for you to send via message, email, or airdrop to someone maybe around you. So if you have friends over and you want to create a playlist, list and you all want to participate you can just airdrop that to those around you and they can get that link and they can join that playlist and you guys can start just collaborating on these playlists now there's also emoji reactions so once you start a playlist for example so if i start playing this song here let's go ahead and start this song once i start the song i get this emoji icon right there i can also go ahead and react to this playlist so if i like it of course i'm going to go ahead and click that thumbs up and the other person will see that i really like that song and they can do the same as well so collaborative playlist a new feature coming to your iphone for apple music with ios 17.3 so if you love apple music this is going to be a big one now, the second major new feature coming to the iPhone with iOS 17.3 is probably one of the biggest security updates to the iPhone in many years. This one adds an additional layer of security to your iPhone. It is called stolen device protection now it is currently in beta but basically what this will do is will protect you from in the rare circumstances that someone steers your phone and happens to know your passcode they can't change your apple id password they can't see your passwords in the keychain they can't access your icloud data or anything like that now it also has a built-in delay now if you're at home or at work at a family member's home and your iphone knows that's your home or your workplace the delay will not apply but let me show you how this works so let's go into face id and passcode here and when i enter my passcode i will have the option on ios 17.3 to enable stolen device protection now once you enable this feature again no one will be able to change your apple id and password now remember a report from the wall street journal well your anna stern show that if you go into icloud and then you go into sign in and security you can actually change someone's iCloud password in order to gain access to their Apple ID without any authentication. Well, that's what this feature is trying to prevent. So if someone steals your phone and they try to change your password for iCloud, they can't because there's a built-in delay, as I mentioned. So let's say you're out having fun, you lose your phone, the person that finds your phone happens to know the passcode. If they try to turn it off, they'll get prompted with Face ID and they won't be able to access any of these uh, security settings in iCloud features on your iPhone. So again, stolen and device protection, one of the biggest updates to privacy and security on your iPhone in many years. This one is a big one coming with iOS 17.3. And I just wanted to share those thoughts with you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.